going on guys, Robbie here, and today we're taking a look at Mega Constructs Pokemon Eevee. Uh, this set has 27 pieces and retails for about $6.99. That is a bit of a stretch financially, but, um, you know, it is, it's, I mean, you get this big plastic Pokeball, which does help make up the cost, and uh, they're very cute. <laughs> they're very cute once you get them built, so I feel like it's kind of worth it for that. Uh, Eevee looks like a little bit, little bit of a weird one. Uh, I want to see it in person before I make my final judgment. Uh, a little bit overly blocky as compared to some of the others, but um, again, we'll see what it looks like in hand once all is said and done. There's an image on the side here. You got Mega Constructs, Constructs logo, Pokemon logo. Bunch of uh, legal information and uh, you know addresses and things like that on the back here. Small parts, don't feed it to your kids. Recycle stuff. It's good for the environment. And uh, yeah, other than that, there's just uh, all the parts are inside this nice plastic Pokeball here. I picked this up at my local Target store, uh, and hopefully you can find it at yours as well. So, without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and get this guy put together, and we will check him out right now. All right, guys, so here we have Eevee all ready to go. And let me uh, pop them off the Pokeball here and just show this off real quick. If you're not familiar with these little Pokeballs, you got some studs on the top. You got some stud grippers on the bottom. You've got the ability to open the Pokeball. And inside are the parts when you first open it. And, of course, the instructions as well. You've got some studs on the inside bottom here. You've got nothing on the inside top, but you got some holes so you can do some stuff in one little slot here. I don't know what you would do with that, but whatever. It don't matter. It don't matter. I guess you could put some, I don't know, something. You could do something with that if you were enterprising enough. Uh, so you do have the Pokeball, and of course you can fit your little Eevee inside the Pokeball. There you go. Carry them around like that. And Bob's your uncle. Pretty good job. And here is Eevee, his or herself. And uh, I gotta admit, this is my least favorite out of the first wave of these guys. And it's a shame because I like Eevee. Uh, Eevee's a real cool Pokemon, but um, I just this does not work. This design, just top to bottom, just doesn't work for me. I mean, it's cute. It's you know, it's got all the the things that an Eevee needs. It's got a little collar. It's got a little tuft of fur in the front there. It's got a little poofy tail. Um, but everything about it just, I don't know, it just doesn't seem like as much thought went into this as, say, you know, Abra, you know? Like, Abra's got Abra feet and Abra arms and an Abra tail, and, and Eevee just has, like, this weird stick neck that's very, very obvious, and you can't move the neck, you can only move the head on the neck, so it still looks weird no matter what position you put it in. I guess you could put it in that position, but it still doesn't seem right. And then he's just got these little legs that are just little, like little cannons. <laughs> it looks like, a little, well, like he should turn into a gun, like he turns into a weapon. Pew, 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 pew. All right, yep. You hold it by the tail, and you just go, pew, 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 um, Yeah, not that, I mean, it doesn't work for me at all. He's got his little tummy that sticks out a little too far, just, like, there's just enough clearance for his little feet. Um, and I don't know, just, it's not doing anything for me, and I'm, I'm super bummed about that. Uh, I hope they do a better job with, you know, the evolutions for Eevee. And it's even possible that if they come out with, you know, Eevee evolutions... Uh, you know, Vaporeon, Jolteon, etc. They could even do like a new EV design that's maybe a little bit more, uh, a little bit better. <laughs> that's all I'm saying. Just a little bit better. Um, I mean, it's not horrible, but you know what? The stick neck really, really, really kills it for me. Absolutely kills it for me. And I don't know what they could have done to make this better. Uh, maybe. Honestly, um, if they had, tell you what, I know, uh, I know Mega Constructs has one of these pieces with the, uh, with this hollow stud set, you know, where a normal stud would be on a one by two plate. Um, so maybe if they had that, maybe if the collar were more like up here, you know, and we'll, uh, we could even try, we can even try it, we can even try it, sort of, kind of, a little bit here. So even if the collar were, like, up here, 
you know, and even if it's stuck out a little bit far in the front, um, I mean, the head would be down a little lower because it would be inside the stud, of course. And I, I don't know. I think that already looks better to me. And maybe if they had extended the legs just a little bit, just a little bit past the belly more, uh, I think it would have been, you know, happier with it. But, you know, it's their first run out with these Pokemon sets. So you got to give them a little bit of leeway and kind of, you know, kind of take the good with the bad, you know, the facts of life it a little bit um but you know that's that's just my opinion yours may differ and that's fine and i'm certainly not bashing mega constructs i think that overall they did a fantastic job on these pokemon designs but i just think eevee just falls a little bit short as compared to the rest so uh with that said he does have some posability he's got his tail you wiggle that around it's on a bald joint it's got his head you wiggle that around it's on a bald joint uh, legs, wiggle those around on ball joints, and the ears, you can wiggle those around. They are just in there. They're just in the head and swivel around if you want. Yeah, Evie, you look... <laughs> I mean, it's super cute, but, I mean, it's just, you know, sorry, man. I'm sorry, Evie. <laughs> sorry, you're a failure. <laughs> oh, no, don't walk away, Evie. It makes your ugly back so much more obvious. <laughs> Oh, all right. Well, I'm done bashing this thing. But, I mean, overall, I love the Pokemon series that they've got so far. Uh, I've only messed with these little Pokeball versions so far as of the recording here. I've got other sets to put together, but I just haven't put it together yet. Um, but, yeah, overall, I mean, I'm not thrilled with it. It's not horrible, but it's not great. It's certainly the weakest out of the first wave, so... Take that as you will. And that's going to do it for this review, guys. I want to thank you so very much for watching. As always, if you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button. It really does help me. And, of course, subscribe if you want to see more. I'll have more Mega Constructs Pokemon coming real soon. So stick around for that. In the meantime, thank you again for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye for now.